Hi, it's Pris, and again I'm sharing a word that was given to me some time ago. It was called rattling of teeth. The Lord said, do you hear the rattling of teeth? The bones are moving as you pray for these dry bones of my church. The bones are beginning to come together, but it is my love poured out which will bring the sinews and flesh upon these dry bones. Persecution is light at present, but that too will change in time, especially when the world sees my sons of glory. Those who have no desire to change will be jealous, like ancient Pharisees and Romans, and will cause a great stir against my church. But there is yet favor to be poured out upon the dry bones for a time that my will will yet be accomplished. Shaking is coming. But the shaking is minimal for the sake of purifying by fire the sons and daughters of the kingdom. Also, there is shaking in the world to test the sons of the church. Will you love those who are terrified? Will you love those who are brought low that they might know my love? Do not be proud and arrogant, for the Lord your God has no pleasure in the derision of his enemies. I would that none should perish. I am saddened when it takes judgment to get men to turn to me. Will you put on robes of humility and love and righteousness that justice will be served? My justice, not man's. I have many treasures in barren places, and I am thirsting for justice. Many are kept in holes and prisons, and there is none who sees, who cries out for them, who is willing to give of themselves that others may live. Isaiah 42, 22-23 amplifies, Amplified says, But this is a people robbed and plundered. They are all of them snared in holes and hidden in houses of bondage. They have become a prey with no one to deliver them <clears throat> to spoil and with no one to say restore them. Who is there among you who will give ear to this? Who will listen and hear in the time to come? And then the Lord continued, all over the world, nations of people are in hunger. They are in hunger and thirst and barrenness due to ignorance and unwillingness to change. But when my love consumes you, I will send you to bring hope and love and miracles that they may know that I do know their struggle, that I am is not far from them. How will you know my agenda if you're too busy with your own how will you know my mercy if you are not receiving it yourself? How will you know my love if you are not sitting at my feet receiving it, if you are too busy to come? Mary knew what was more important. Martha was not just being responsible. She was avoiding me. Many who call me by name avoid me. They dismiss the small, gentle voice of my spirit, then wonder why I am not speaking to them. My heart so weeps when you turn away to do something you think is more important than what I have to say to you. It aches when in church you take off with your own agendas but are not willing to listen to mine. You should love and desire prophecy because it is my voice in your midst. It comes through communion with me. It is the testimony of Jesus. Whenever you gather, I am in your midst. Why do you come together anyway? Do you come just to have a service? Are you really interested in my view of things? Are you really interested in my encouragement? Or do you have no need for me or my voice and opinion because you are self-sufficient? Are you willing to hear something besides titillating words? Do you only want to hear smooth words? Or are you willing to hear the fullness of my voice, the fullness of my wisdom, the fullness of my power? I am interested in healing the sick, in healing the brokenhearted, in delivering those who are bound, in encouraging those that need encouragement. This comes through the gifts. Why are my children ashamed of their gifts? Who has taught you false humility? Will you love my sheep as I love them? My love never fails. My love never fails. It is never cut off. My love never fails. All people fail from time to time. All will disappoint someone some of the time.
but I am always here for you. I encourage you to come and buy gold refined in the fire. Don't hold back. Don't procrastinate. Ask and you shall receive all that you need. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Walk in the light as I am in the light. Come and let me share my secrets. I only want to kiss you, to comfort you. I am not a harsh taskmaster. You were made for intimacy with me. Come, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. And that's all.